Hello football fans, in this video I'm going to compare some of the greatest assist providers that is Kevin De Bruyne, Mesut Ozil, Cesc Fabregas, Angel Di Maria and Thomas Muller. I'm going to compare their league performance, their performance in the UEFA Champions League, their performance for the national teams, their discipline on the pitch, awards that they have received and titles that they have won with their teams. Hello guys once again, please like this video and leave your comment down below. I respond to all the comments because I value you. Also subscribe to this channel, it's free and you can always change your mind later. Love you guys, enjoy the rest of the video. So let us start with some of their basic information. De Bruyne's full name is Kevin De Bruyne. Ozil's full name is Mesut Ozil. Fabrigas' full name is Francesc Fabrigas Sola. Di Maria's full name is Angel Fabian Di Maria. Paul Muller's full name is Thomas Muller. Kevin De Bruyne was born on 28th June 1991. Mesut Ozil was born on 15th October 1988. Fabrigas was born on 4th May 1987. Di Maria was born on 14th February 1988, while Thomas Muller was born on 13th September 1989. Kevin De Bruyne was born in Belgium. Ozil was born in West Germany. Fabregas was born in Spain. Di Maria was born in Argentina, while Muller was born in West Germany. Kevin De Bruyne is 1.81 meters or 5 feet 11 inches tall. Mesut Ozil is 1.80 meters or 5 feet 11 inches tall. Cesc Fabregas is 1.79 meters or 5 feet 10 inches tall. Di Maria is 1.80 meters or 5 feet 11 inches tall. While Thomas Muller is 1.85 meters or 6 feet 1 inch tall. Kevin De Bruyne's current market value is 85 million euros. For Mesut Ozil is 1.8 million euros. For Cesc Fabregas is 2.5 million euros. For Di Maria is 12 million euros. While for Thomas Muller is 22 million euros. Kevin De Bruyne currently plays for Manchester City. Mesut Ozil currently plays for Istanbul Basak Sehir. Fabregas currently plays for Como. Di Maria currently plays for Juventus. While Thomas Muller currently plays for Bayern Munich. Okay, let us now compare their performance in top tier leagues. Kevin De Bruyne has played for Genk, Werder Bremen, Chelsea, Wolfsburg and Manchester City. Mesut Ozil has played for Schalke 04, Ovada Bremen, Real Madrid, Asno and Fanabache. Sex Fabregas has played for Asno, Barcelona, Chelsea and Monaco. Angel Di Maria has played for Rosario Centro, Benfica, Real Madrid, Manchester United and PSG. While Thomas Muller has played for Bayern Munich. Kevin De Bruyne has played a total of 368 league games. Mesut Ozil has played 422. Sex Fabregas 500. Angel Di Maria 459, while Muller has played for 16 games. Kevin De Bruyne has scored 93 goals. Mesut Ozil 73, Cesc Fabregas 81, Angel Di Maria 95, while Muller has scored 137 goals. So Kevin De Bruyne has provided 143 assists. Mesut Ozil 152, Cesc Fabregas 160, Angel Di Maria 166, while Muller has provided 170 assists. So Kevin De Bruyne has 0.64 goal contributions per game. Mesut Ozil has 0.53. Cesc Fabregas has 0.48. Angel Di Maria has 0.57. While Thomas Muller has 0.74. Okay, let us now compare their performance in the UEFA Champions League. In the UEFA Champions League, Kevin De Bruyne has played 60 games. Mesut Ozil has played 69 games. Fabregas has played 104 games. Di Maria has played 99 games, while Muller has played 134 games. Kevin De Bruyne has scored 12 goals. Mesut Ozil has scored 11 goals. Cesc Fabregas 20 goals. Di Maria 22 goals, while Muller has 52 goals. Kevin De Bruyne has provided 21 assists. Mesut Ozil 24 assists. Cesc Fabregas 26 assists, Di Maria 35 assists, and Muller has provided 27 assists. So Kevin De Bruyne has 0.55 goal contributions per game in the UCL, Mesut Ozil has 0.51, Cesc Fabregas has 0.44, Angel Di Maria has 0.58, 
while Thomas Muller has 0.59. Okay, let us now compare their performance for their national teams. So Kevin De Bruyne has played 90 international games. Mesut Ozil has played 92. Cesc Fabregas has played 110. Di Maria has played 122, while Muller has played 116. Kevin De Bruyne has scored 24 goals. Mesut Ozil 23. Cesc Fabregas 15. Di Maria 25 and Mula 44. Kevin De Bruyne has provided 45 assists. Mesut Ozil has provided 40 assists. Cesc Fabregas has provided 34 assists. Angel Di Maria has provided 24 assists, while Thomas Mula has provided 40 assists. So Kevin De Bruyne has 0.77 goal contributions per game. Mesut Ozil has 0.68. Cesc Fabregas has 0.45. Di Maria has 0.40, while Thomas Muller has 0.72. Okay, let us now compare their total career statistics for both club and countries in all competitions. Kevin De Bruyne has played a total of 628 games in his entire football career. Mesut Ozil has played 729 games. Cesc Fabregas has played 832 games. Angel Di Maria has played 798 games, while Thomas Muller has played 832 games. Kevin De Bruyne has scored 157 goals. Mesut Ozil 137 goals. Cesc Fabregas 140 goals. Angel Di Maria 179 goals, while Thomas Muller has 313 goals. Kevin De Bruyne has provided 251 assists. Mesut Ozil 259 assists. Cesc Fabregas 248 assists. Angel Di Maria 268 assists, while Muller has 287 assists. So Kevin De Bruyne has 0.65 goal contributions per game. Mesut Ozil has 0.54. Cesc Fabregas has 0.47. Di Maria has 0.56, while Thomas Muller has 0.72. Okay, let us now compare their discipline on the football pitch. Kevin De Bruyne has received 55 yellow cards. Mesut Ozil has received 52. Fabregas 139. Di Maria 84 and Mula 44. Kevin De Bruyne has received 2 red cards. Mesut Ozil 3 red cards. Fabregas 4 red cards. Di Maria 9 red cards and Mula 2 red cards. Let us now compare the awards that they have received. Kevin De Bruyne has received 52 awards, that includes two times IWFHS World Best Playmaker, two times Premier League Playmaker of the Season, and two times PFA Players Player of the Year. Mesut Ozil has received 20 awards, that includes five times German Player of the Year, two times UEFA Team of the Year, and most assists in the Premier League 2015-2016. Cesc Fabregas has received 22 awards, that includes Golden Boy 2006, two times UEFA Team of the Year, and two times PFA Team of the Year. Angel Di Maria has received 13 awards, that is one time UEFA Team of the Year, one time FIFA FIFA Pro World 11, and two times ESM Team of the Year. While Thomas Muller has received 28 awards, that includes 2010 World Cup Golden Boot, three times Bundesliga Team of the Season, and the Bravo Award 2010. Okay, let us now compare the trophies that they have won with their teams. Kevin De Bruyne has won 17 trophies, that is 4 EPL trophies, 1 FA Cup, 5 League Cups, 2 Community Shields, 1 German Cup, 1 German Super Cup, 1 Belgian Pro League, 1 Belgian Cup and 1 Belgian Super Cup. Mesut Ozil has won 11 trophies, that is 2014 FIFA World Cup, 1 La Liga Trophy, 1 German Cup, 4 FA Cups, 1 Spanish Cup, 1 Spanish Super Cup and 2 Community Shields. Cesc Fabregas has won 17 trophies, that is 2010 World Cup, 2 weight and 2012 Euros, 1 FIFA Club World Cup, 2 EPL trophies, 1 La Liga, 1 Europa League, 1 UEFA Super Cup, 2 FA Cups, 1 Spanish Cup, 2 Spanish Super Cups, 1 League Cup and 2 Community Shields. Angel Di Maria has won 30 trophies, that is 2021 Copa America, 2022 Finalissima, 2008 Olympic Gold Medal, 1 UCL title, 5 League Ones, 1 La Liga, 1 UEFA Super Cup, 4 French Cups, 2 Spanish Cups, 1 Spanish Super Cup, 
four French League Cup, one Premier League, two Portuguese League Cups and five French Super Cups. While Thomas Muller has won 32 trophies, that is 2014 FIFA World Cup, two UCL titles, two FIFA Club World Cups, 11 Bundesliga, two UEFA Super Cups, six German Cups and eight German Super Cups. Alright guys, there you have it. Which of these assist kings do you think is the best and which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching Factual Animations on YouTube. Please subscribe for more amazing content like this. Also like this video and comment down below. Cheers!